Episode 3 Finding Nemo and Friends in the Aquarium Hello, ocean explorers. Welcome to another exciting episode. Today, we're diving into the underwater world of Finding Nemo. But this time, we're meeting the... You might know Nemo, Dory, and Marlin from the movie. But did you know that their real-life cousins are swimming in aquariums just like this one? Let's find out more. Meet the clownfish, Nemo's family. First up, let's meet Nemo's relatives, real-life clownfish. These little fish have bright orange and white stripes, just like the one we see in the movie. Clownfish have a special relationship with sea anemones, just like Nemo does in the movie. They live inside the tentacles of anemones for protection, and the anemones provide shelter while the clownfish clean them up. Did you know, clownfish are immune to the stings of sea anemones, thanks to a special coating on their skin. This helps keep them safe from their own home. Just like in Finding Nemo, clownfish are very social creatures. They live in groups and are great at looking out for each other. Which is how Marlin and Nemo stay so close in the movie. What's your favorite thing about Nemo? He's so brave and adventurous. Just like real clownfish. Who have to be brave to swim in those big, open oceans. Meet Dory, the blue tang. And here's our next star, the blue tang. These fish have stunning blue bodies and a yellow tail, just like Dory from the movie. Dory in the movie is always forgetting things. But did you know that blue tangs have great navigation skills? They might not forget where they are but they do have to be very smart to swim long distances in the open ocean. Blue tangs use their sharp fins for protection. They can quickly dart through the water and hide in the reef when danger approaches. Dory's always full of energy, just like the real blue tangs. These fish are quick and playful and they love swimming in the open water. But unlike Dory in the movie, real blue tangs don't forget things. So don't worry, they remember where they're going. Do you think Dory could ever get lost in real life? Maybe if she had a little help from her friends. Sea anemones, the home of clownfish. We can't forget about the star of the show, sea anemones. These colorful, flower-like creatures are the home for clownfish like Nemo in the wild. Sea anemones are known for their sting, which helps protect them from other fish. But don't worry, clownfish are immune to these stings, thanks to their special slime coat. There are over 1,000 species of sea anemones, and each one has its own way of helping the animals that live with them like providing food and shelter. Just like in Finding Nemo, clownfish in real life swim in and out of their anemones, using the tentacles for protection. They share a special bond with these beautiful creatures. Let's finish up today's adventure with some fun facts about the stars of Finding Nemo. Fact 1. Clownfish can change sex. If the dominant female of a group dies, the largest male will transform into a female and take her place. Fact 2. Blue tangs, like Dory, have spines on their tails that they use to defend themselves from predators. Fact 3. Sea anemones aren't just pretty, they're actually carnivores. They use their tentacles to trap small fish and invertebrates to eat. What a fantastic journey we had today, exploring the underwater world of Finding Nemo. We met real-life versions of Nemo, Dory, and their friends, and learned about their habitats, behaviors, and special abilities. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Please like the video and subscribe the channel for more fun journeys. See you next time.